Buffalo, New York, it's Friday Night Food Fights at Rust Belt Raceway Park. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Looks like the Highway Patrol has got somebody in their sights. It's, oh, it's, it's just goofy. All right, let's race some mini stocks. In the number one Sharp Records vehicle, it's Frankie Sharp. In the number four Juicy Burger Bar car, it's Reese Bird. Number six, sponsored by Noah's Arcade, it's Russ Finley. And in the Castro car, number eight, it's Jet Stag. Number nine, Jay, sponsored by Nintendo, it's Turtle. And in the 57 Nabisco vehicle, it's Rusty Martin. And here's how the points work for the mini street stocks. One race, three points for the winner. One point is awarded to second and third place. Points accumulate and we crown a champion in December. Well, folks, if you watched last week, you saw that we had a little bit of a shakeup in the points. Rusty Martin has fallen to second place after leading the entire season. And now the leader in points is starting on the front left. That is Reese Bird. Here we go. Rusty Martin and Reese Bird get into it really hard there, coming out of the turn, but Rusty Martin takes the win! Look at the replay here, folks. You see, Turtle got an incredible jump, but he just skidded off the wall and got into the back of Rusty Martin, and that sort of propelled Martin in front of Reese Bird. So, Rusty Martin takes back the points lead here in the mini stock class, and it is this is going to be a crazy series. To finish out, we got two more weeks here of the mini stocks. We can see Rusty Martin only leading by one point over Reese Bird. And now it's time for the big boys. This is the Big C's Chop Shop Mini NASCAR Series. We'll be running three heats, one feature, one point for each heat winner, and three points for the feature winner every week. Again, points will accumulate. Winner is determined in December. Let's meet our drivers. In the number four Kodak car, that's Ernie Irvin. In the number seven XI car is Jeff Bodine. Ricky Rudd driving in the number 10 Tide vehicle. In the number 12 main and tail, it's Clayton Carter. Ted Musgrave in the 16 Family Channel car. Daryl Waltrip driving the 17 for Western Auto. Dale Jarrett in the 18 Interstate Batteries car. Michael Waltrip driving for Sitco in the number 21. And in the number 90, it's Kevin Fairburn. So check out the starting grid for Heat 1 here. We have our points leader, Ernie Irvin, there on the right. And the up-and-comer, Jeff Bodine, in the middle. Jarrett is on the left. Here we go. Jared sliding way far behind Bodine on the front, and Ernie Irvin is not going to the feature for the first time in a while with Jeff Bodine. Wow, he has been coming out of nowhere lately with some great racing. He put Irving into the wall, slid back, and just spun out Jared. Jared looked like he was going to get the pass there, but he got spun, and Bodine takes the win. Let's get a little bit closer in and see how Bodine was able to take out Ernie Irvin right into the wall there. And it was just enough force to spin Jarrett to prevent the pass and take the win. So as we move on to Heat 2, we will have there in the center is our contest winner. That's Kevin Fairburn. Ricky Rudd on the right does not have any points. Here we go. Oh, Clayton Carter slides out really fast, and that is it. Folks, that's all she wrote. Clayton Carter takes the win. Wow, so our contest winner, Kevin Fairburn, will be out. But look at him. He looked like he was going to go well, but Ricky Rudd just spun him out. And then Fairburn came back in, tapped Rudd, and man, oh man, Clayton Carter saw the opportunity and just blazed right by everybody. Look at this, Kevin Fairburn thought that this is how you race. This is his first time on the track. You don't, you're not supposed to spin in circles. It doesn't work that way. Look at this, he comes out and Rudd just got into him. Immediately, he was just like, here you go, rookie, boom. And so for the third consecutive week, the Waltrip brothers have pulled the same heat. So there they are on the left side of your screen. 
And they're going up against Ted Musgrave. Here we go. Michael in front all the way. He will take the win. Michael Waltrip has just been a force recently. But you're going to see here on the replay, Daryl got the better jump. But he decided instead of going straight, he was going to take out Musgrave. Sounded like a good plan, but not when your brother's driving the way he is now. Look at Michael Waltrip just hugs that side and slides directly in front of everybody. Takes it all the way. He didn't even spin. That was just good, clean racing the whole way through. Let's go up a little bit closer here, and you're going to see Darrell Waltrip just takes out Musgrave. And then he tried to take out Michael. I mean, that's kind of his M.O. He goes back and forth sliding to take people out. So Michael Waltrip moving on. And that'll bring us to the feature race. This is going to be a really good one. We got Michael Waltrip on the left side. Clayton Carter in only his second feature. And the up-and-comer Jeff Bodine there on the right has been lights out recently. Here we go. The gate drops. Clayton Carter looking smooth. But man, oh man, Michael Waltrip is the smoothest of them all. He is just blazing today. Waltrip is driving like a man on fire. Look at that, as he, he takes advantage again with two cars go, going together. And Waltrip, he has been doing great with that lately. So he'll get four points today, which of course is one from his heat and three from the feature. But you can see Ernie Irvin still, can anyone catch him? That guy is unstoppable there at the top. He came out hot at the beginning of the series and just hasn't looked back. But Michael Waltrip is the closest right now with nine points. And coming soon, it's the sleds. Aw, the baby car. Two-time Shorty Showdown champion Chicken George is pulling up in the 78 gram smart car. And right next to him is the 75 gram great baby. Dreaming by Sweetie! Race one! Irregularity and sweet teas wheel with the lanes do not change. Chicken George takes the series. Now, after some irregularities in wheel with there from Sweet Tea, kind of a weird thing that we uh, don't really plan for. She skidded and uh, took out one of our fences. So hey, thanks a lot for that. But Chicken George is your Shorty Showdown champion. And that means that Chicken George has just set the record for most consecutive wins in the Shorty Showdown. He's sitting at three right now. But next week, he's got McGriff the Crime Dog in the K9 Cruiser. And now for the main event. Defending his title for the very first time, it's Dax Quaid and Dr. Fizgood. And the challenger, it's Bob and Linda. Driving in the 90 Grand Cereal Gorilla. Let's make some burgers. Yeah, I know, Linda. I'm, I'm here too. And Tina's in the back! Oh, I'm scared, Bobby! Dr. Fizzgood wins! Dr. Fizzgood, that's a good name for a burger. Oh, Bobby, you're so smart. Always coming up with ideas. I, I know, Linda. So it's back to the grill for Bob and Linda, and Dax Quaid retains his championship. He's got two wins now, and next week he'll face another mystery racer. 
And pretty soon, Santa Claus is coming to town. It's a sled race here at the Sledding Hill. If you want to race on Friday Night Food Fights, head on over to our Facebook group for all the details. We'll see you next week right here at Rust Belt Diecast Racing.